Hello, everyone. My name is Laura Gerton. I'm a professor of Earth Sciences at Penn State Brandywine, and my colleague Matt Bodek and I have been running an Earth Science Week themed photo contest on our campus since 2018. So today, what I want to share with you is a little bit of how we set that up and why we do it and where we want to continue to grow it. So if you're interested in these slides, there's a QR code you can scan in the lower right hand corner, which will bring you to a link where you can get access to these slides. There's also a URL right under our title, uh, which brings you to the website that we have established. So you can see how we have set up the rules. You can get examples of how we also uh, detail this for our students and embed this into our courses. And you can see the gallery of the winners of our contest from previous years. So let me talk a little bit about Earth Science Week. It is an international celebration organized by the American Geosciences Institute. And what it does is every year, there is one week in October that is designated to create awareness, engagement and stewardship for planet Earth. Each year has a different theme and the theme for 2021 happened to be water today and for the future. So we thought it would be appropriate to share this presentation with you at this time. And it's not too early to start planning for the 2022 Earth Science Week celebration. Notice the theme is for a sustainable world and sustainability certainly is a theme that can be applicable across so many different disciplines. Next slide, please. So what I want to talk about a little bit is why do we do this, certainly. So there are several reasons. One, we want the students on our campus, as well as our faculty and staff, to tap into the amazing wealth of resources we have and develop their technological skills. So at Penn State University, everyone, faculty, staff, and students, has free access to the entire Adobe suite of products. So we like to encourage students to try experimenting and, and growing their skills using items in the Adobe Creative Cloud, especially Adobe Spark. That is the one program that we try to tap into and encourage students to use for the photography contest. A campus-wide photography contest also creates community across the campus because it is uh, in the fall semester. It is especially great for our first semester students on campus right away to very easily and very quickly get involved with something campus-wide. And as the only earth science, geoscience, on my campus, I want to do anything that can get people talking about what's going on with planet Earth and generate awareness of Earth science. So how we do this is we actually start in the summer. So as we have our first semester students coming to campus for orientation, we have announcements that are available when they pick up their orientation bags. We have shifted to online announcements certainly as well. Once the fall semester starts, we do offer an on-campus training open to everyone, again, including the staff and the faculty, on how to use the Adobe products, especially Adobe Lightroom or Adobe Spark, and learn about how to use the product and how they can actually then submit to the contest. And again, we have a supporting website with uh, short video clips on how to use these applications as well. Next slide, please. So I'm just going to give two very quick examples of courses. Uh, where we have implemented the Earth Science Week contest. My co-author on this presentation, Matt Bodek, and co-organizer of the contest, he teaches an introductory level class for the Information uh, Science and Technology program. The course is called Information People and Technology. And what he does, I uh, have detailed here, he takes an existing part of his course in an existing topic area, in this case, the hardware section, uh, multimedia section within his textbook, and he encourages students to take a photo along the theme of the Earth Science Week photo contest, but he has them analyze that photo based upon the required components in that section of the course. So looking at what is the file size, pixel dimensions, these are the required aspects of his course, but just using that Earth Science theme. And then students review them within the course, and they also get a grade. And then he selects the based upon student voting, the top three award getters in his class automatically get forward to the campus-wide competition. So a little bit of prestige and ego can go in there too. In my course this past semester, I taught uh, introductory level course on earth and climate and used a scaffolded approach where I had students take a photo that could connect to the contest theme as well as our course theme using Adobe Spark to modify it. We use Google Jamboards where every student submitted their photo on a Jamboard as well as the description of the photo, how it connected to the course and how they used Adobe Spark. Then we also had voting using Google Forms within our class um, and then of course celebrated across the students as well. Next slide, please. 
And so what we also want to, um, because this is a campus-wide contest, we have campus-wide voting. So in addition to entries coming in through the courses on campus, again, anyone can submit on campus and we have a People's Choice Award. And so voting form is set up and everyone on campus has sent that form where they can vote. Uh, for our faculty that are um, not as tech savvy or maybe do not want to use an Adobe product. Uh, we also have what we call a photo display. So we have the contest part for people that use an Adobe product or just a display. Uh, and then we have awards given to the faculty staff category and a student category. You can see these are uh, some of our award winners from this past semester. We print off their photos and we create a display in our library, not just of the winning photos, but also the library creates a display for Earth Science Week. So we have books that relate to whatever the theme is. These are some of the water themed books that they put on display. So for a whole week, we have a celebration. Our University uh, Strategic Communications Office also does an article that gets on the newswire. So again, another great way to promote Earth Science and Water. Next slide is our final slide. And so again, I encourage you to, to check out our website. Uh, Opportunities and challenges with trying to do anything that is campus wide. Uh, getting student clubs involved has been great, especially the ones that are more art themed. Uh, getting our athletic teams involved, it's been hit and miss over the years, but uh, they always like a competition and they travel to different places. And so they can get photos there. Working with our first year uh, seminar instructors has been key. And again, getting these new students on campus involved. Uh, partnering with our campus library has been wonderful, kind of a a center and a showcase for the photos. We have a center for civic engagement. Every campus has sustainability committees. So we really encourage you to think of how you can use, maybe not Earth Science Week, maybe it is Earth Day, maybe it's Water Day. Uh, choose whatever the holiday, have a campus-wide photography contest. Everyone's got a phone that can take photos and it's just a wonderful way to come together as a community and call attention to science. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Laura.